So in this video I'm going to talk about if statements. So if statements in Python are a really good way to incorporate logic into your program and it allows the program to be more dynamic based on the user's inputs. It's, you know, we're going to be able to make it make its own sort of decisions within the program and that's going to be very very powerful. So I'm going to teach you how to do that now and we're going to start by defining a variable, let's call it x and we'll say that x is true. So we've done variables already so that we can you know, print x and it will give the value true. Uh, so now we can say if x is going to be equivalent to the value of true this is a comparison operator so in other words it's comparing the value of x to the value of true and because we define x is equal to true it's saying if true is equal to true of course it will be because they're both the same then we are going to say print x and we get the value of true which is what we'd expect because we've said that x is equal to true so now we're going to do if x that also says because we haven't bothered to write is equal to true it automatically knows that we want to compare it with the value of true so we can we can do the same thing again and we're going to get the same output now that's better in python just because there's less code involved and it's easier to read in you know the majority of cases and um, it also works with integers as well as uh, you know, just true or false values or boolean values. So we can do, let's say x is equal to 7. We can do if x is equal to 7, then print, let's say x equals 7. So it gives x equals 7 because that's, you know, evaluated that code and it's determined that x is equal to 7. If we said something like, if x is equal to 8, print, if I can type, print uh, x is equal to 8, then that's not going to run that line of code, this print statement here, is not going to be executed because it's looking at x and it's saying, okay, x is equal to 7, we defined it just here, uh, saying x equals 7, and we're going to compare 7, or the value of x in other words, to the value of 8, and if the two are the same, then we're going to run this line of code. Otherwise, we're not. So that allows us to incorporate, uh, you know, logic, and that allows the program to make its sort of own decisions based on the user's input, which is really important in Python. So we're going to go over to this program now and see if we can incorporate an if statement into this program. So let's define another variable and we're going to say is male equals true. So remember this equation is only for males here. So we're going to say if is male. Remember we can do that. We don't have to say equal, equals true because uh, if we just put the value it will assume that we want to compare it with the value of true. Uh, so we can just say is male and then remember to indent this line of code here because Python is, uh, you know, it runs on white space so it's very important that you use the correct indentation or you will get an error in Python. So now that we've got that, it's only going to run if this value is true and otherwise uh, it's not going to do anything. So let's run this and see what happens. So it wants our weight like we'd expect, so we're going to do 82 kilograms, 185 centimetres tall, and 18 years old. So that still gives us the same output because it knows that is male is true, and therefore it is going to evaluate this line. Now if is male was false, uh, we're going to see that it's not going to give the same output. It's going to do something strange which is not uh, going to be what we want um, and I'll just show you that now when I input these values uh, I'm going to input the same ones as before and now we get an error because it's saying BMR is not defined and that's because the, the definition of BMR is in this line uh, in the if statement 
but this line is only going to be executed if ismail is true. And ismail we've just defined as being false, so it's not running this line and therefore not defining uh, the BMR variable, uh, which is here. So we're going to solve this problem in the next video when we talk about else.